Welcome to the most authoritative boxing channel here on YouTube. Today's episode, we shall be discussing the return of Jamal Chalo as he is set to face Jose Benavidez Jr. Let me read the story for you before I give you my reaction. BBC Today announced that Jamal Chalo takes on Jose Benavidez in a middleweight non-title contest scheduled for 10 rounds in chief support fight on Saturday, November 25th at the Mikolob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas, Negas. Charlo Benavides will fight on the David Benavides versus Dimitri Andriadi Showtime pay-per-view. This is one of the three outstanding undercard fights for this event and the fans will really get their money's worth. This is Jose Benavides' big chance to try and pull off the biggest win of his career against Jamal Chalo, who at one time was considered a future star until a combination of injuries and personal problems and inactivity derailed his career. So that is it. Let me give you my reaction. But before then, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon besides the subscribe button. Express your views in the comment section and share this particular video with friends and family. Thank you. Now, the sudden part of this particular article is that Jamal Chalo is keeping the middle weight hostage. He is a WBC champion and everybody below him is wanting to become champion of the world. And for two years, Jamal Chalo has not defended his title and the WBC have not stripped him of the title. He is coming back and he is involved in a non-title fight. This is babysitting. This is babysitting or witness protection, I should say. The WBC has overprotected Jamal Chalo. They have overprotected Jamal. Because it is very unfair if I keep on paying sanctioning fee and I'm in the top 10, top 15, and I'm not able to get a title chance whilst I keep on paying the title, then what is the use? Why are you not encouraging healthy competition? This goes a long way to kill the sports. We need to see competitive fights. The only way other sports thrive is, is the level of competition you are assured of. So far as they, they are playing in the Spanish league, you are sure that Real Madrid would face Atletico Madrid or would play Barcelona Football Club. You are sure that in the English Premier League, Manchester United would play Manchester City. Chelsea would play Liverpool. You are assured of healthy competition it is easy week in week out there is the best competing against the best if you come to the nba it's the same if you go to other competition it's the same if that is not encouraged healthy competition is not encouraged and if one person can put a whole division on frozen ice that is unfair. If one person, a whole division, can be put on hold for just one person, that is unfair and disrespectful to other competitors or other contenders. It is unfair. I think everybody deserves an equal chance at the title. They can make Jamal Chalo a, a champion in recess, and when he comes back fully, he faces the current champion. That is what should have been done this is even worse off than tyson fury defending his title uh, against derek chisoro because derek chisoro is even active and the title was on the line in this case the title is not on the line so that means if jamal chalo even loses he still remains champion that is unfair and that is disrespectful but boxing they say is a business for the wild wild west and sometimes they say negativity sells but negativity does not sell when it comes to administration when it comes to administration everybody wants things to be done clean and pure but when it comes to the boxes itself the negative news would help sell the fight but administratively negative news does not help grow the sports that is what the WBC should take into consideration. They should allow people to contest for their title. They did same with uh, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, where he wasn't allowed to face 
his mandatory in five years Deontay the bronze bomber wilder faced two mandatories that is when uh dominic brazil and tyson fury was made a mandatory after delian the body snatcher white had failed an initial drug test the wbc must open the sports and must make it a healthy competition for all if there is healthy competition we are able to grow the sports it attracts the neutrals because they see clear competition when you allow the likes of tyson fury to go and do what they did yes money is good but when you allow them to go and do what they did people like francis ngano who have a world determined heart who who are unstoppable would always upset the odds that is it that is my reaction for this particular story i think that jamal chalo should vacate the title as at now and since he hasn't done that the wbc should have also stripped him of the title i'm happy he's coming back but i'm very much unhappy he is not defending his title this is my take for this particular episode if you have not subscribed to this channel please do me a favor to subscribe to africa's first choice online sports portal remember your greatness has no limits